Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, so. Peg and Kel. <laughs> okay, we're live. Okay. Hi. Hi. Are we live? Yeah. Um, okay. The first question I have here is from Jess at Tardis of Bones. By the way, Jess, um, I love your I love your screen name because obviously you're a Doctor Who fan, which I am as well. Um, who's the actor slash actress that you want to so badly to work with? I I am the worst. You can't ask me things that have anything to do with people's names because I just go totally blank. Um, so I haven't the faintest idea. That's my answer. <laughs> but what happens to me now is that whenever I run into an actor or an actress that I really love, I just think, how do I get them to be on my show? Literally on a daily basis, I try to figure that out. Okay, at not much makeup is asking me, Lisa, what has been your favorite scene to shoot so far in GG2D? All the love from the UK. Thank you. I'm so happy you're watching in the UK. Um, gosh, my favorite scene. I think. Uh, We've had so much fun on this show. I love when the girlfriends get together. Uh, it's always it's always good to have like a a nice rapport with all the women. Um, I certainly love sh every time I shoot with Paul Adelstein. It's a blast. Um, he's such a great actor, and we we have a wonderful wonderful energy together. I but not one particular scene is coming up. Um, Warren Christie and during season one was always a lot of fun. I mean, everybody's been fun because now everybody's gonna be like, what about me? <laughs> was not fun, and that's not true. I just can't remember right now because I have a memory that uh, fails me often. Okay, um, Iana falling into JB. Will we have GG2D season three? You gotta ask at Bravo TV. Really harass them because I have the faintest idea. <laughs> I hope so. We really want it. Um, at Bravo TV needs your <laughs> needs your tweet right now. <laughs> That'll be really funny. I wonder how many they'll get. Um, Maria at Ave Maria. It's got two A's. Um, what is your craziest experience with a fan? I was chased down the street in Paris once. My husband, he wasn't my husband yet, but that was his first, his first foray into what it means to be on a show that is worldwide. <laughs> that was pretty crazy and a little, little frightening. Um, there, there are a lot of really wonderful fans, uh, many of whom I see on Twitter all the time. And then every once in a while, there's somebody who actually isn't wonderful, who's just um, has emotional problems. And so it, it, it sort of ruins it for everybody because you, you never know whether or not that person is unhealthy and uh, they can get a little scary. But so far, so good. Uh, everyone's been happy and healthy and just loving the show. And I love that. Meg Leo, Meg, Meg Abby, Meg Abby. Um, I get it, Meg, Abby. Um, what have 20 plus years in show business taught you about the industry and about yourself? Well, a lot of things. I think um, it's, it's a very difficult industry to be in and you really have to find some fortitude to survive the amount of disappointment and rejection that happen in between all the really wonderful things. And um, I think most importantly, if you wanna be an actor, you better love what you do because there's so much that comes along with it, the struggle to get there that um, if you don't love it once you arrive, it's uh, it's it's really not worth it. So I, I am a confirmed lover of my job and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Matt Nicholson, what is the ultimate rule for the girlfriend's guide to divorce and does Abby have trouble sleeping alone? Um, I, have, I have no idea what the ultimate rule is, um, but uh, clearly Abby has some problems with just being by herself. And I think this whole season is sort of about her she no longer has anybody to point to as being the problem. The problem is Abby. And um, if things really fall apart for her this season in a way that I think will be really transformative. Because I know I've been through that myself, where you just sort of have to, everything has to hit rock bottom before you can actually make a change. Hola, hola Tipitina. Um, who is a role model for you in your professional life? There's not one particular person. Uh, I really admire, I really like to look at actresses who are a little ahead of me chronologically to see what kind of choices that they're making and to watch people who have careers that I would like to have, um, that I would like to emulate. And uh, certainly my, uh, the boss of my boss's boss, Bonnie Hammer, is a, a pretty uh, phenomenal powerhouse and I, I do admire her. Um, I just, I think, for, for many reasons. Um, so that's my answer. Okay. Um, Josephine. At Josephine, two eyes. Um, if you could only bring one thing to set, what would it be? I bring Shazam every day. He's the best. He sits there in his little bed and he doesn't make a peep unless I tell him to. 
Sometimes he sits on set while we're shooting, but we've had the experience where he actually changes his mind and just walks through the scene, which is no good because he's not actually on the show. They offered him a role this season um, to play Dog on Plane, but I didn't think it was a big enough part for him, so I'm holding out. Hey you at Ellie's Heels. Are we seeing Becca or Will again? No idea. I have no idea. I never know what's going to happen in um, upcoming episodes for an upcoming season that we haven't get, gotten picked up for yet at Bravo TV, by the way, if you want to ask. Um, <laughs> Here, funny. I'm giving it to you so you can see comments that come in. Oh, good. People. Well, somebody just said, who's this? I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Who is that? Um, thank you. You love my work. Thank you so much. So do other people see these comments? Yep. I um I eat risotto occasionally, uh, but I am not actually a risotto girl. I love you too. Um, uh, oh my God, to you too. Uh, Mark Valley is a really sweet, funny guy. I I feel like he's like a weird guy trapped in um a Ken doll because he is he is he is just like not what you expect in the most wonderful of ways. Um, what am I writing? I can't ask you that. Uh, um. Gorgeous. Thank you. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to keep saying that. I, am I feeling stressed right now? No, I feel like I have to talk really fast. <laughs> um, uh, the best part of being on this show is uh, that I am being on this show. I love this show. I love this role. It's the best part I ever had. So I'm, I'm super thrilled about it. Um, I uh, Ha, ha, ha. I love you too. And oh, hi, Brazil. I'm saying that right now because Brazil likes to be said hello to. Um, and Switzerland. Um, this is so amazing right now. I am not a porn actress. Thank you for asking me that. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, is there someone who looks like me? Uh, send me her. Send me her reel. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> any surprises for this TV season? Well, it's almost over. We have two more episodes. I hope you watch them. We're really we loved making season two, and we look forward to making season three at Bravo TV. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to wrap this up, but I have had a blast doing this. It moves very quickly, and uh, I hope you guys are all fabulous, and uh, that's all. Okay, bye!